Lights go out. Thanks to Toowoomba steering and suspension. This is round number two of the SmackDown series. A round one winner, he'll start from pole position. Brody Boss alongside him, the current New South Wales and Western Australian champion in Joel Berkeley. Raymond and McDonald, that's the Nathan variety. Shane McDonald and Mason Cameron, your third row. And we are green for what could be anything in this modified sedan feature race. Boss through turns one and two for the first time. Berkeley and Raymond settle in the second and third. Berkeley to turn and to give you a hurry up. And oh, we've got a wall parked in in turns three and four, Benny. Yeah, just when you thought we were going to go okay. It's going to be a great battle. I know that. There's 20 laps. Hold on to the front like it did the first time round, or are the boys in the big cars about to sneak up? Well, I think the Falcon might have a little bit more horsepower. He goes to the outside. That's Brody Boss on the inside. Berkeley saddles up. Look at him swap the Nissan. The Commodore upstairs. Raymond right behind. They're very busy for those front few spots as Berkeley tries to gently close the door up here in this battle at the front of the field. Boss on the bottom. Berkeley upstairs. Look at Nathan McDonald sail the car in. Raymond side by side for third and fourth. Cracker. Jack battle at the front, Benny. Yeah, McDonald. He's looking very, very good, isn't he? And see how the car sticks nicely in the middle of the racetrack. So he's got something there. He did not lose any ground at all. A four Shane McDonald up to fifth position as a Nissan right on the inside of Joel Berkeley. Very polite from Brody Boss just sitting on the bumper, not making any impression on the paintwork though. Impressive stuff as Mason Cameron retires to the infield. The Falcons got body panels flapping all over the place as well. So wherever you look, they are going side to side. No, it is a domino oh! effect and this is big. Oh, we all pile up further back in the field trying to avoid. But this is big in terms of series points. Uh-huh. Oh, man. So, as much as that is drama, as we see the car parked in there. Gosh, it looks in, in deep. So, a shunt that's taken into the wall. So Berkeley had this amazing ability to just shut the door on Boss. Every time you'd think the lighter car would be able to make his way through. What are you seeing down there, Jared? Yeah, just making sure everything's A-OK -okay with both these cars. The rear bumper is folded in uh -huh. a little bit against the right rear tyre. Brody's going to continue. I just sort of pass that along to him to let him know in case it cuts that tyre down to be wary oh. of it. Here's the Dondex replay, Benny. Oh. So was there contact? I don't know. So it's Shane McDonald who's just had nowhere to go. Yeah, hard luck for Shane. He got in there very hard too. And the Nissan copped a very large whack, both front and rear in the wall. I don't think there was anything untoward about that. It just turned around, which is really strange considering that's where all the juice is in the racetrack. And you that's can what see, you'd expect to see in the middle of the racetrack, right? You can see that tire rubbing on the uh -huh. 22. So he's going to try and continue, but that tyre may not last this feature race with 15 to go. Doesn't he? Takes full advantage. Look at the way the squeeze box just all bunches up. They have to, that's totally intentional. They have to pump the brakes. He pumps the throttle. Nice work from Joel Berkeley. Getting a nice resume of state titles. And now he's just really showing, doesn't matter what he gets in, he does so, so well. We saw him in the super sedan. Extra two cylinders, completely different bar setup, and he masters that in Gladstone. He really is establishing himself, but look at this battle it's right throughout the pack. Yeah, Raymond just got foxed a little bit that time by Nathan McDonald. Look at the Camaro! Started deep in the field, he's starting to make his way further forward as Matt Cochran spins at the back of the field and will probably go yellow. Oh. The 82 of Cochran. Facing the wrong way, and we're doing it in drips and drabs at the moment, so, Benny. So that's something. Can Aiden Raymond get back up into that top three? There's a big battle as they fan right out. That did not work for McDonald. They're going up that top side. It's working for the Camaro, though, right now. Talk uh -huh. about 
going from mid-pack up to the top five. It all looked nasty on that opening lap, but Max Clark has got something working here. He's a percolating right now and making his way towards the front of the field. It's Berkeley. Boss, how long will that tyre hang on, Benny? It's got a rub. Here comes Nathan McDonald on the inside of Brody Boss now. That's nice. Oh, there's contact. There's big contact, actually. Unsettles both cars and forces the Nissan out into a different line. It, you can just poke the nose of that Commodore in there. It's going to force Boss up, and I'm not sure he's comfortable up on the top side. The Nissan makes its bread and butter roll in the bottom. Jason yeah. Drever retired to the infield after he had a very strong run at the front of the field. So it's Berkeley, Boss, McDonald. Back to Raymond. But we will not get there as Stephen Quirk yeah. pulls the car up on the top of turn number four, Benny. No. It was looking like we were going to get five, but this is going to be a cracking battle now. Can Berkeley hold on? Well, he has got a big serve from McDonald. Wow. And while he's trying to deal with that, Boss is on the outside. This is impressive from the Nissan, and Berkeley has been shuffled back to fifth. Shuffled or shoved? That was one of the two. Boss has gone to the lead right now. Nathan McDonald to the bottom. Boss through the middle. Nathan McDonald forces his way up off the bottom again. Tries to make some room on the inside. Berkeley gets a big hip and shoulder. Oh. He's been nailed by both the McDonald cars. Oh, wow. And Berkeley has got signals going everywhere to Shane McDonald in the front of the car. <laughs> So, exit stage right. Have a look at the Dondex replay. This will either be the opening lap. This will be the incident between Berkeley and Shane McDonald. Wow, David Head, very lucky not to put that thing on its lead. We'll run that through a couple of times. Wow. Wow, wow. I was thinking uh, the Falcon was going to go over, but it didn't, and for that we're thankful. We certainly are. So there's the... Super slow-mo. But still love to know how Berkeley found himself back there. Because he just got swallowed up. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't really know what happened. I sort of felt like I got squeezed for room, but I don't know. Everyone will have their own mind about it, I guess. But um, yeah, a bit disappointing to end up like that. Glad to see you're out of the car and A-OK, -okay and we'll go back and tidy up that brand new race car, the 27 machine. It looks as though restart is imminent here. Production team's dug that up for you on the Dondex replay. So watch Berkeley. He's your leader. Right, so there's a bit of hip and shoulder there. Yeah, and nothing that... too untoward, just no. a little bit elbows up racing, Benny. Right, so there he's back to fourth. So nothing too untoward. No. That initial start just rolled from the bottom and McDonald just took the opportunity and lent on him a little bit. All right, well, five laps. That's just got to find it in racing. Mm -hmm. As Raymond now sticks the nose up the inside. And we're going to see a little bit of this going on, I'd say, Benny, with five to run. Berkeley upstairs. Nathan McDonald on the bottom. Berkeley trying to make the middle lane of the racetrack work. But it's all the Nissan out the front with four to go. Man, there is not one part of any panel on that Nissan that hasn't had a touch-up. He is absolutely been through the wars but now McDonald trying to make up for what we saw earlier there is more hip and shoulder Look going at the on Camaro. Clark on the inside. Wow Clark is in this Raymond tries the inside he pokes the nose in he's got the run down the back straight they are running out of time Max Clark this is an absolute Lazarus style comeback holy smokes the Camaros come from nowhere Raymond goes through to the lead it is held to skelter here with two to run the Toowoomba Steering and Suspension modified to the Smackdown series. And Raymond leads the Nissans right there. We're still three across the track for fourth, fifth and sixth. Benny, there's one to go. Yep, and the guy that we saw got shuffled back to the third row is now going to be staring down the barrel of a checkered flag win. And Benny, Aiden Raymond, congratulations. What a cracking drive. He's going to do this with a broken left front. Raymond wins with an ailing car. It's a little bit more camber on it than when he left the pit lane at the start of tonight's <laughs> feature race. Aiden looks up and goes, yeah, you're not, you're not wrong.
Yeah, I was probably a bit off the pace of the top three, so I threw some pretty wild tyres at it for this race. <laughs> I didn't think it'd last five laps, let alone 20. I brake pedals on the floor and God knows what else is broken, but it worked. So um, thanks to everyone that helped. Uh, the car was pretty damn good. I just had to bide me time and wait for a gap.